YouTubers, what we got here is a uh, $500 1994 Dodge Ram 1500. Uh, as you can see from the video before this, when I went to get the truck, it starts fine. It ran fine. Transmission shifted fine. Uh, after you drive it and it gets good and warm, and you stop and park and get out and do something and go back to get into it to take off the transmission wouldn't move okay that would tell me it'd be a sensor or something so I went ahead and pulled the pan on it uh, I do got a different training to put into it there but I pulled the pan and the fluid just absolutely as black as can be and uh, yeah, a distinctive burn smell to it, which tells me bands. But honestly, I don't think that transmission's much better. But uh, yeah, and uh, as you can see, this is a magnet down here. And uh, yeah, them little fibers of the uh, clutches that are on there little bitty bits of metal uh, yeah. that is the clutches right there hard stiff filling I don't think it's magnetic no it's just been accumulating there, right in the center of that pan. Uh, yeah. Uh, somebody's had the pan off before, as you can see with the gasket maker. Uh, yeah, and of course, you know, dropped the pan and freaking came out of my hand and made a hell of a mess. Even got all over my light. Uh, let's go up in there and take a look at her wipe off the old light first so I don't get shocked. Yeah, that's a good idea. Good idea there. Yeah. Let's wipe off the old light. We don't need no shocking experiences here. Yeah, there we go. Now, let's go take a look at the underside. Uh, yeah. See, originally I was thinking, oh, probably a pressure switch gone bad, because these are common for them to go bad. Uh, yeah. Look at the bottom of that filter. It is just filled with pieces of metal on it. Yeah. That training is shot. No if hands or butts about it. Looks like it's actually been hot before because look at that and the discoloration in the aluminum on that there servo. Yeah. And this being a 94, I'm not so sure it has the pressure switch on it. And, uh, yeah. Not real sure of that. But I am pretty sure that the uh, transmission is just shot. Yeah, look at all that crap up in there. Yep. I could probably get it to work for a while by changing out the uh, filter again. Because I'm assuming that it's been changed once and putting new fluid in it and she'll probably work for a good while but it'll put it back right where it's at now so I guess uh, yeah my lights are smoking yeah that's what happens when you get transmission fluid in it so boy it looks like we're fixing to pull a transmission out to, uh, yeah yeah, yeah, yeah.
I think I'm going to do it in one unit. Transmission transfer case. And, uh, and then just put that training and transfer case right into it. Uh, yeah, that's what I believe I'm going to do. Yeah. Put a new rear seal on that. Uh, put a new, uh, Like they're freaking, yeah. How's our lines attached? I definitely don't like how, uh, you know, how, uh, come on, get out of zoom. All right, yeah, that is what I believe we're gonna do. Put new seals in this one and uh, good to go on it uh, with a front seal. Mm -hmm. Yeah, rear seal. And uh, yeah. Needs a new uh, um, dipstick gasket. Uh, and take a look at this fluid here. Yeah, it looks just as black. But, yeah, I'm not ready to tear in. I know this part, rebuilding the first half, is just like a 727. The part I'm not real sure on is this uh, overdrive crap on it. Uh, yeah. Anyhow. Yeah, looks like we got to drop the exhaust system and, uh, yeah, pull that transmission out. Oh, hell yeah. We can tear things up. That's for darn sure. Okay, tubers. Um, yeah, I'm going to show you guys a couple. I took the pan off of that one. There should be a little video clip of it up. And I just took the pan off of this one that uh, the hundred dollar El Cheapo transmission transfer case. Well, as you all know, this is the pan that came out of this truck. And you see all that crap in there and stuff. And yeah, I'm telling you, some kind of additive's been added to this or, or something, but yeah, look at all that metal pieces down in there. I think the transmission in this truck, even though it's shifting fine, I think somebody put something in it. Uh, I do know that if you, come on, focus. I do know if you put brake fluid in your transmission, it will prolong it. You know, like if it's slipping and stuff, if you put brake fluid in it, it will cure that problem. Of course, it's just temporary until you get rid of the vehicle. And then the next person stuck with a vehicle with a bad transmission. I don't know what it does, but I think it's something. I don't know. Anyway, I think some sort of additive has been added to this transmission to prolong its life. Now, I just dropped the pan off of the $100 one. And let's swish around it a little bit. There is no gunk on the bottom of the pan. There's, as you can see right there, a little bit of water in it, but the transmission was in the back of a truck and it snowed on one night. And I do know the dipstick tube leaks, so I'm assuming the snow leaked down into the fluid. Uh, but anyway, yeah, I definitely, there's like minute little pieces of tiny tiny little pieces of steel in there but I'm not even sure that that's steel yeah it's it's not it's just little bitty little bits of water in it um, anyway for sure this transmission I will be able to I'm going to change the uh, of course the fluid in it that's the torque converter that came out of that one putting a new filter in it and I'm gonna check to see if this is a style that has the pressure 
uh, valve on it and if it does I'm going to change that too. Uh, I'm putting a new front seal in it, new rear seal on the transfer case because I'm just going to put the whole unit into that truck and pull that whole unit out because this should be just a simple bolt in and go type thing. Um, yeah. So uh, yeah. It is kind of dark but this fluid as you can see is red it's just yeah neglected yeah I probably never had a oil change in its life and the fluid out of this truck let's see what color it is oh yeah black yeah and I know for a fact the filter and this one's been flushed like oh I don't know six months ago because yeah I know that there was a uh, Dodge guy that sold this to the person that had it that the transmission went bad on. And, uh, yeah. Anyhow, that's the scoop on this truck. So, it looks like we are going to be pulling this one. And we are going to put that one in it. Oh, yeah. And, uh, to do so, I'm going to have to drop the exhaust system, cross member, and, um, of course, unhook the battery because we're gonna have to take out the starter and whatnot uh, yeah and parts wise you know the guy got a hundred dollars into this transmission and transfer case I'm gonna guess the parts that I'm gonna put in it maybe 150 I, I doubt it but maybe it depends on if I replace the servos the solenoids in there but if it does have the solenoids in it I am going to replace them uh, because yeah this is a job that people just don't like to do and yeah so then the guy's still gonna have under a thousand not counting what I charge just in the truck and the parts to make it running he's gonna have under a thousand for a good four-wheel drive Eh, 90s truck, which isn't bad. Yeah. Anyhow, that's what we got.